When I start with line art like this, that's usually a clue that the idea that I'm going for has too many unknowns to start blocking in right away. I need to find some sort of boundaries to know what I'm working with. I had this idea of doing an illustration about the heart of darkness. The darkness is the night and I wanted these small pumpkins in the foreground to still be read properly. So there's this massive scale difference between the endlessness of the night and the small pumpkins that are very physical thing. So I had no idea how to put all of this into a 2D canvas, so that's why I needed a sketch. It's pretty common that an idea might be good for a series of several illustrations, but can't be squeezed into just one. This is why I always divide my commissions into sketching phase and finishing phase. In the first part I squeeze in all of the things required in the commission, and the next part is just polish. It's pretty common that a client wants a bit too many things into an illustration, so when they see the sketches, they usually want to narrow it down a bit, because usually an illustration has more visual impact when there's less things to focus on. And this doesn't just apply to commissions. All illustrations seem to benefit from very heavy-handed editing. It might be really easy to communicate that when you're working with a client, but when you're doing a piece for yourself, it's a bit trickier to take out things, because what it all fundamentally comes down to is this simple question. What is this about? If the answer is too long to that question, it's pretty likely that getting to the maximum visual impact is going to be really hard. With a client, this question is usually pretty easily figured out, because the illustration is usually intended to say one thing about their product, or to make the viewer feel a certain way. These are the same questions that you can use for your own personal pieces. What do you want your viewer to feel or learn from seeing this illustration? So with this in mind, I sometimes try to approach my own illustrations with the same editing eye, and cut out every single detail that doesn't support the things that I want to be seen in the piece. Taking out details in an illustration is kind of like building a race car. The more unnecessary stuff you have in your car, the slower it goes. So you have to kind of like throw out all the unnecessary stuff to make the car go as fast as possible. I have no idea how cars work, <laughs> this is a terrible example. <laughs> anyway, editing shouldn't feel like you're killing your darlings, as people in the editing usually say. If you're clear on what it is that you're going for, that visual concept should be the darling that you're taking care of with all of these hard decisions. Like you're putting it into the best possible light by taking out all the distractions surrounding your main point. In this piece, one of the hardest parts to do was the trees and their foliage in the background. It's not that the foliage is hard to do, or I had trouble finding the right color, but realizing that the foliage doesn't need to be there at all, that part took a lot of time to figure out, and I went through all kinds of different variations of how to do the foliage of the trees. When the idea that they could just be deleted came into my head, I didn't waste one more second on them, and I didn't feel bad taking them out of the piece, even though I had spent all of this time putting them together and doing all kinds of edits to their shape, when I realized that they are unnecessary, they are gone. Whoosh! and I'm not gonna be thinking about them in one more second. This allowed more room for the darkness of the night to have these little arms or paws, I don't know what kind of limbs darkness has, and they seem more important for us to understand that the night sky is the darkness, and that is the main character of this illustration. So the trees were in the way, and now that they're out of the way, I can kind of like focus on what this illustration is about. I'm pretty happy that I managed to capture the idea in a picture, but at the same time I know that these wild abstract ideas don't always work out. That's why it's important to start trying immediately when you think of something that you're not quite sure of. Uncertain, kind of iffy ideas, they get shot down by your ego and fear the easiest and the fastest. So you gotta be ready to hold the door open right away when you hear those ideas coming. I know every Halloween my illustrations are a bit dark, so I hope that this darkness illustration wasn't too scary for you. I promise I'll make something less horror themed next. I'm Mikko and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!